Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys three different techniques that I'm using for my ornaments this year. Basically every year I like to make a few ornaments just to change up my holiday decor a little bit. Last year I created some air dry clay ones, but this year I really wanted to work with oven baked clay. So if you're not familiar with working with oven baked clay, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to achieve these beautiful ornaments. All these products are super easy to create using the same basic techniques and I was already creating them So I'm really excited just to share with you guys what I made and without further ado Let's jump into the first ornament Hello from voiceover Tina Last year I created some air dry clay ornaments and this year I wanted to change it up a bit with some oven baked clay. The one that I'm using today is by Sculpey and this is their original in white and this is one of their most basic clays. I will link it down below as well as all the materials that I'm using. So I'm going to start off this project by showing you some of the basics of working with clay. The first thing I'm going to do is to knead it and when you first open the package you're going to notice that it's a little bit harder so you really want to roll it out and smush it and this is really going to soften it and it's going to make it more malleable and easier to work with. This is also a really important step because it's going to take out any air bubbles that you might encounter when you roll it out later. Also I wanted to note that I'm going to do this on top of some wax paper and this is just going to make it as easy as possible to work with and not stick on my countertop. Next I'm just going to flatten it out and usually I would use a rolling pin for this part but I have yet to buy one for our new place so I'm just going to use a soda can for now. You can use whatever you have at home. I really miss my marble rolling pin. I sadly did not pack it here so a rolling pin is definitely next on my shopping list. And for these ornaments, you don't want anything too thick. My clay is just over half a centimeter thick, so it's nothing crazy, but this is definitely up to your personal preference. And now you can create whatever you want with it. I'm going to show you a couple of ways. For this set of ornaments, I'm using these little rubber alphabet stamps. These add the cutest personal touch and you can have it say whatever you'd like. I'm gonna do the max and then also add the year 2020. I really tried my best to keep things aligned by holding the stamps together. But what I found is that this particular set isn't the most precise. So it wasn't super straight or spaced out evenly, but that is totally okay because it gives it an extra homemade touch. You can also just stamp an initial or any other phrases that you'd like to add. And after that, I'm going to use a cookie cutter to cut my shape out. I actually did this after stamping because I found that it was easier to center all the words. But you can do this in whatever step that you would like. I found these for super inexpensive and they were just perfect for my ornaments, so I had to pick them up. And if you don't have cookie cutters, that is totally fine. You can also create freehand shapes by cutting it with a butter knife or use things like jars to cut out perfect circles. And don't forget to add a hole at the top for all your ornaments. I'm just using a chopstick to do this. All right, so all my ornaments are ready to go. I'm just going to pop them into the oven according to the directions. This one in particular bakes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes for every quarter inch of thickness. So I just left it in for 15 minutes and then I took them out to cool down. This next step is optional, but I'm just going to sand them down and I'm using a very high grit sandpaper buffer. This is perfect for smoothing out all of the edges and even the tops of the surfaces. I really took my time doing this and made small circular motions around the whole entire thing. And I think this step is just super important for a very finished look. It just smoothed everything out and made it look so much more professional. So I'm really happy with how smooth everything is looking and you can totally leave them like this for a minimal look. But I wanted to add a little bit more interest so I'm adding some gold paint to these ones. And here I'm using liquid gold leaf paint with a fine tipped brush. This just works so perfectly to get right in where I stamped everything and it looks so good with that little added touch of gold. So once that's dry, you can string it with some ribbon or twine depending on the vibe that you're going for and it's ready to be displayed. I really love how these came out and I think they are so personal. They would make such a fun gift to someone or even a family and I think that they are so special and I'm really excited to hang them up on my tree. So this next ornament is super easy to create. I'm first just going to start out by flattening out the clay just like normal and then I'm going to use an empty kimchi jar and I'm just going to use this to cut out a circle. After that I'm just going to move it over to the right a little bit and I'm going to press down to create a crescent moon shape. And by now you probably know how much I love the moon and lunar decor and Christmas is no exception so of course I had to make a moon ornament. 
Now it's ready for baking and sanding. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is actually add some shine to it. And I'm gonna do that with some gold leaf flakes. And this technique is super easy to do. So first I'm going to take my brush and add some Mod Podge. And I'm just going to paint on a small section of it at a time. Then what I'm doing is just tapping my finger in the bag and just picking up a few flakes right on the tip of my finger. And then I'm just gonna lightly tap that onto the glue on the clay. And I wanted these to be small little flakes and not larger chunks, so this technique worked out perfectly. And now I'm just going to repeat that all around my entire ornament. And just look at how cute it came out. For this one, I'm going to use a beautiful mustardy yellow ribbon. And I got this from Dollar Tree, and I think it paired perfectly with this. This moon ornament was such a simple way to add in a little bit of sparkle to my holiday decor. I really love how the gold flakes just elevated it, and I can't wait to have this for so many years to come. I'm super excited for this last technique because it's one that I've been dying to try out. For this technique, I'm using polymer clay in various colors, and this is my typical color palette that I like to use for creating terrazzo patterns. So I'm sure it's no surprise to you guys all watching, but I'm using warm tones, including pinks, tans, and browns, but really you can use any color palette that you'd like. So for each one of these clays, I'm going to take out a little chunk of it, and just like we did with the larger block of clay, we want to condition it by kneading it until it's soft. And what's really awesome about using colored clay is that you can create new colors by mixing them. So for example, I could only find this bright orange clay, so I went ahead and muted down the color, and all I had to do was just to mix in a darker brown clay to create a really nice terracotta shade. And when custom mixing your colored clay, you really want to take your time mixing so that it's one even color. Alright, now that our clay is ready, it's time to create little shapes. And to start, I'm just going to use one color, and I'm picking out little pieces of the clay and flattening it out a little bit, and then pressing it onto the larger white base. And as I'm doing this, I'm just pressing it on in a random pattern, and I just repeated that with the next color. After a little bit of experimentation, I figured out a better technique. So first I actually flattened out the clay, and then I'm going to cut out little tiny triangles and rhombuses, and this just made the process so much easier. And one thing to note about using different clays is to ensure that they all have the same baking temperatures and times. So all the clay that I'm using here bake at 275 degrees, and it was perfect. So I'm just going to repeat this process with all the colored clay and filling up the entire space. And once I was happy with how it looked, I'm going to roll it out and this is what really makes it look like terrazzo. And if you need to add any more to it, you can totally go in like I did here and just roll it out again. So now you can cut it out into any shape that you'd like, but for this one I'm going to use an ornament shaped cookie cutter. And before actually removing any of the excess clay, I'm just going to take some of the plain white clay out first so that I can use it again later. I'm then just going to bake it as normal at 275 degrees, and after that just sand the sides. To complete it, I added a cute pink ribbon, and I also got this one from Dollar Tree. This last technique is really fun and adds so much pattern to your holly decor. This is so trendy and can be personalized to whatever color palette your theme is this year, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I hope you guys try out this project too. So those were all the projects for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. I think all of these techniques are so fun and I think they all came out so good. I'm really excited to put them up on my tree. So as you may have noticed in the clips, I actually used a tiny tree to hang up all the ornaments for the reveal shots. And that is because my Christmas tree isn't up yet. I'm putting it up today and I'm in the middle of filming a Christmas makeover video. So there's a little sneak peek behind me. So that video is coming up next and I'm so excited to show you guys the final result. There are definitely so many more holiday videos coming at you guys soon So let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see and I'd be happy to make a video on it Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below for new videos every single week Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already I'm posting on there every single day and we actually just reached 10,000 followers on there So if you would like to join my Instagram family definitely check out the link down below and that is it for today's video Thank you guys all so much for watching stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one Bye.